Welcome to episode 26, featuring W.B. Yates and Antonio Machado. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 Anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you're being treated to a static poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 26th, 2022. William Butler Yeats was an Anglo-Irish poet and playwright, widely acknowledged as one of the greatest English poets of the 20th century. W.B. Yeats, read by Coleman Barks. Gratitude to the unknown instructors. What they undertook to do, they brought to pass. All things hang like a drop of dew upon a blade of grass. Lapis Lazuli. I have heard that hysterical women say they are sick of the palate and fiddle bow of poets that are always gay For everybody knows, or else should know, that if nothing drastic is done, aeroplane and zeppelin will come out, pitch like King Billy bomb balls in until the town lie beaten flat. All perform their tragic play. There struts Hamlet, there is Lear, that's Ophelia, that Cordelia. Yet they, should the last scene be there, the great stage curtain about to drop, if worthy their prominent part in the play. Do not break up their lines to weep. They know that Hamlet and Lear are gay. Gaiety, transfiguring all that dread. All men have aimed at, found, and lost. Blackout, heaven blazing into the head. Tragedy wrought to its uttermost. Though Hamlet rambles and Lear rages, and all the drop scenes drop at once upon a hundred thousand stages, it cannot grow by an inch or an ounce. On their own feet they came, or on shipboard, camelback, horseback, assback, muleback, old civilizations put to the sword. Then they and their wisdom went to rack. No handiwork of Callimachus, who handled marble as if it were bronze, made draperies that seem to rise when sea wind swept the corner, stands. His long lamp chimney, shaped like the stem of a slender palm, stood but a day. All things fall and are built again, and those that build them again are gay. Two Chinamen, behind them a third, are carved in lapis lazuli, Over them flies a long-legged bird, a symbol of longevity. The third, doubtless a serving man, carries a musical instrument. Every discoloration of the stone, every accidental crack or dent, seems a watercourse or an avalanche, or lofty slope where it still snows, though doubtless plum or cherry branch sweetens the little halfway house those Chinamen climb towards, and I delight to imagine them seated there, there, on the mountain in the sky. On all the tragic scene they stare, one asks for mournful melodies. Accomplished fingers begin to play, their eyes, mid-midi wrinkles their eyes, their ancient glittering eyes are gay. Antonio Machado ranks among Spain's greatest 20th century poets. Here are two of his short but profound pieces translated by Robert Bly. 
Antonio Machado, read by Jacob Needleman. In our souls, everything moves, guided by a mysterious hand. We know nothing of our own souls that are ununderstandable and say nothing. The deepest words of the wise man teach us, the same as the whistle of the wind when it blows, or the sound of the water when it is flowing. Between living and dreaming, there is a third thing. Guess it. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in.